So it's been 27 years since It Chapter 1 came out. Can you believe it? Yeah, I can't believe that I was only one years old when the first one came out. Yeah, it's crazy. So we're going to review it. <laughs> <laughs> so be aware that this is going to be super spoiler heavy. We're going to go into... The nitty gritty. So yes. we're not, you know, watch the movie, come back, and we can discuss the details. What did you think about It Chapter 2? So first off you the know? bat, Bill Hader comes off as the funniest guy in class. Bill Hader kills it again i think they did a really good job at matching the cast even when it comes down to looks and like their the way that they performed um but he was funny i was laughing throughout the whole movie when he was on screen because he just matched uh, yeah i think a big positive for this movie well i thought it was perfectly casted i think everyone fit their um younger counterpart and just like richie bill Hader's character that was like you know they kept their spirits in each child which i like yeah their um adult counterpart trying to think of what else i i I did like the fact that we did see flashbacks of the kids i thought that there were some um uh really well done horror shots and scenes Mm -hmm. that i feel like i've never seen before in terms of i'm watching it more amazed than afraid really i thought the the blood in the the bathroom stall was like amazing (laughs) like super beautiful and like cool and then you know the door opening and closing and it was a different evil character that was pretty interesting other than the positives i feel like i kind of i have a mixed bag of feelings because I wasn't really afraid because I felt like a lot of those things felt very set up. I felt like because I saw Pennywise even more that I was less afraid, which I don't know if that makes sense to you or anyone else. (laughs) I just saw him so frequently that it was just, okay, I know what he's going to do. He's going to try to uh, make them afraid and then open his mouth really big and then hopefully bite somebody. But he didn't this time, Um, you know, and that's not to say that they didn't have some great scenes, but that was kind of my quick, Mm. uh, my quick rundown on my feelings on that i'm not like i'm not upset that i saw it because it was it was okay Mm -hmm. um not like oh my god this is like the best thing i still think that the first movie was better out of these two yeah i feel like every time that i saw the kids on screen in this movie i was more attached to them than i was to the older uh characters Mm -hmm. admittedly i neither of us have read the book i know we have the book back there but and i i know it's (laughs) I know it's dense material and I know there's a lot to juggle and I felt like the first movie dealt with a lot less of that. It was just building up these characters, who they are, their connections, Mm -hmm. who they are as children and they had more like individual moments and forming that bond Mm -hmm. and I felt this movie had a lot more to juggle, um, uh, hence this extended runtime of like 2, 40, 50, whatever it was. Mm -hmm. Um, It didn't feel that long. Um, In some parts I think it did. You felt certain scenes that were like, yeah, I mean Mike when he brought in Bill where he was living in the library and explaining all that of the background and stuff. Mm -hmm. That felt like very like from the book or something like that where it was that's where it started to lose me because it was getting in too much of this weird Mm -hmm. backstory where it just didn't really connect and coalesce. Um, So that middle part of the movie lost me. Mm -hmm. Overall, I really, really enjoyed it and I really liked it. I think the first one is a better movie because one one of the reasons is because they juggle less. You have more time to grow. This one, like you were saying, they were treading similar ground with Pennywise and you know what to connect and you can... You can you can see how, like you said, they were setting up the scare more so. I felt like the movie, the first movie, had more um, more original like scares and setups, and it was more in your face. And yeah, and I felt like a big part of that too for this one is like it was a much faster paced movie, even though it was longer, because mm-hmm. like I said, they were doing so much, had so many characters, they had to go back to each backstory. They each had like a separate little like mini scene in the middle of the movie that they had to go back and get their artifact or whatever it was. Right. <clears throat> Excuse me, and it. It just felt like they were doing so much and it they didn't have like room to breathe right. and give more moments. And I felt like the first movie had those, like you said, those really longer drawn out scenes where they can build that tension. This movie didn't have as much tension. Yeah. I Even mean, though it did have individual great scenes, like I thought the uh, the mirror, the house of mirror scene was good. That was With good, the little yeah. girl under the bleachers. Um, yeah, cause it was that like, actually that actually did. That was one of the scenes that got me. Like, yeah, because it was like that childlike <laughs> Pennywise came out again and it was kind of creepy. Um, yeah. But yeah, it was I really enjoyed it despite that. It was just that you felt it was juggling a lot and treading similar ground. You know, I feel like they just they threw the money at this one uh, budget wise because uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I saw so many CGI you know zombies or characters they got more balloons they got more (laughs) balloons like there was just like let's go crazy and let's get everything that we can and Mm -hmm. 
I mean, you know, the first one, again, gave me the Stranger Things vibe, the more independent kind of feel, Mm -hmm. the, you know, there are some crazy stuff that happened in in the first movie, but this one, it was just like, you know, the studio was behind that. They were like, let me, this one made so much money the first time, let's throw some, a a bigger budget to it. Yeah. Stephen King was in it. Yeah, that was a cool cameo. (laughs) I know he's made cameos before, I think, in some other of his movies, but I didn't expect to see yeah, I mean, he had a pretty significant that he yeah. was basically like a reader and like Benjamin him was like, oh, you're a writer, like yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. with Very terrible good. endings, you know, yeah. it was just like <laughs> like uh, was like ah, I see what you did there. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. Mm. But Stephen um, King never had a bad ending. If I had to pick one of the two, I'd pick the first one, and I think there were some some beautiful shots <clears throat> of horror or darkness in this movie. I think some of the characters did some good things in in this movie as well. They had like very good scenes. Bill Hader was a standout for humor here, yeah but uh, other than that uh, i don't really have any other yeah positives. james mcavoy was great jessica chastain yeah. was great i probably like the movie more than you and yeah again yeah. We're, we're just yeah. coming from seeing it so our views might change slightly you know as it more just washes over us right, right. um but yeah like i i really liked most of the movie it lost me in, in the middle somewhere but i felt like the last act i thought was really well done mm-hmm. with like uh spider pennywise and it brought back yeah. that weird like when they were doing like the indian like thing like it started losing me in those aspects because it was going into this very unexplainable way of defeating him but it went yeah. when it went back to like more an emotional base like overcoming this like yeah, monster like, i was like have, all right this like, is what i connect with i'm not giving it a negative review mm-hmm. i'm just i think i okay. mean <laughs> yeah i think you should definitely go see it, especially if you yeah. saw it chapter one yeah i think there's still a good duo of movies and i think in terms of like um, movie horror like you can't go wrong with it and just you know it's it's, mo- it's better than most horror movies that come out mm-hmm. every year yeah i could have seen this be three movies potentially like if they would have like again, i feel like if they did they should have made like the second movie a continuation of those kids and yeah, yeah the third one being adult only um, or even like the second movie being like half the kids half or something in some way but yeah again the kids are like undeniable let us know in the comments if you agree with any of us we'll be back in 27 years though <laughs> if you haven't already be sure to subscribe hit the notification bell to be notified leave a like drop a comment share the video and thank you for watching peace out